Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you Camtasia Studio 101. How to record your first video by using the software Camtasia Studio 7.1. Why do I create this tutorial? The first reason is I want to share my experience and save your time. The second reason is you will find a lot of tutorial videos on the TechSmith website. I believe it will take you a lot of time to watch all the videos and practice all the skills, especially when you are just a beginner. So I'm thinking I would like to teach all the Camtasia Studio 7.1 users the most important skills you need to know about this software based on my experience. In this tutorial, I will show you a couple important skills. 1. How to start this software. 2. How to record anything you see on your screen. 3. How to stop recording. 4. How to save your recording file. Let's cut into the point. After you installed Camtasia Studio 7.1, you will see the shortcut icon on your desktop like this. It is easy to start this software. Just double click this icon. And you will see a pop up window like this. And you will see the product information on it. Next, you will see Camtasia Studio Editor window. The fastest and easiest way to start your screen recording work is to click the button Record the screen. Then you will see Camtasia's recorder open like this. From now on, I am going to teach you the basic and important settings, so please pay attention to this part. On this window, make sure you choose full screen. That's your default setting, I believe. Under the recorded input, you also need to make sure the audio is on and you may want to adjust your input volume. That's it? Not yet. Go to Capture tab and click it and make sure you can see the check mark by Record Audio. Click it once more if you cannot see the check mark. Go to the effect tab and go to the cursor and check highlight cursor and clicks. This is an important setting you need to change if you are a beginner. Another important setting you need to change is this one. Use mouse click sounds. Make sure you turn on this function. It allows you to record all the mouse click sounds. Personally, I think it plays an important role during this video creating process. One more setting you need to change is this one, Tool Tabs. Go to Tools tab and click the last one, Recording Toolbars. Then you will see a pop-up window. So go ahead to check all the boxes. Click OK button and close the window. Yeah, we finished all our settings. Now we are ready to record all our activities on the screen. How to record? Easy. Click the record button or you can press the F9 key on your keyboard. Remember this hotkey. It will help you a lot. You can pause your recording by pressing F9. So press F9 to start the recording and press F9 again to pause. Want to continue the recording, just press F9 again. 
after you after you click the record button or press F9 key first time you will see a reminding window says press F10 to stop the recording then you will see countdown 3 2 1 then recording will begin now you can do your screen presentation when you are done do not forget press F10 key to stop your recording what comes next the preview window will be opened for you automatically I strongly recommend you to click the button view at 100% to preview your masterpiece first if you are not satisfied what can you do what is your answer yes delete it just click the delete button you will need to reshoot the video again if you, if you are satisfied with your video after you preview it you go ahead to click the button save and edit another window will pop up and allows you to save your files like this it's up to you to name your file and save the file too you can also create a new folder to put all your raw mo video materials in it over here I would like to emphasize an important concept and that's, uh, that is the file type what is the extension file name of the raw video materials you just shot look at here Camtasia recording files dot C A M R E C. That's right. The extension file name is C A M R E C. Camrec. Then, okay. Then, the editor will be opened automatically after you click save button. Okay, you click save button. Yep, and go to this window why it is because Camtasia thinks you will edit the video material right now in this tutorial I'm not going to teach you how to edit so do not worry too much at this point you just click OK on the editing dimensions window to accept the original settings then click the red cross button near the top right corner to close Camtasia editor say no when he asks you want to save this project let's take a look at your raw video material see it's over here it looks like this you will see the file information when you move your cursor on it. You will see type Camtasia recorder document. What if you want to edit? In order to do so, you need to save as a project file like this one. See? You will let's move my cursor on it to see its file information see the file type is Camtasia Studio project it's different you can give your Camtasia recorded document your raw video materials to anyone who has this software and have someone like me edit the file for you why edit the raw video file the answer is adding effects like zoom in and zoom out you saw in this tutorial however we don't have enough time to talk about this editing skills in this tutorial hope you understand what I shared in this video and you may want to practice these skills covered in this tutorial by yourself so bye bye enjoy using Camtasia Studio 7.1 class dismissed